with regards to the boy. Can I continue? The man in handcuffs smiled. Yes, Johnny. Why are you now sad? The constable looked and he smiled as the guitar began to twang. Joey, why are you smiling? Yes, miss. I'm sorry about your father, Johnny, but my father is a policeman and he does very dangerous work. And I'm so proud of him. And the man in handcuffs suddenly sang, This life is so free, is the thing for me. And why are all my learners frowning? We don't understand much. The man is in handcuffs. How can he sing about freedom? We're confused. And the constable smiled and said no word, as if unconscious of what he heard. And so they went on till the train came in. The convict and the boy with the guitar. Viewers, we see that people experience different emotions when reading or listening to a poem. Here are some of the emotions the learners experience. Sadness, that's unhappiness. Or, that's a feeling of wonder or admiration. Loneliness, or feeling isolated. Empathy, to have compassion with someone. Pride to feel satisfaction about an achievement and confusion which is puzzlement or not understanding something. A poet, the person who writes verses or rhymes, writes according to his or her own or other people's feelings and experiences. We can now look further into this poem to understand it better. Learners. Now you all listen to the poem that I read. Now I would like to ask you a few questions. My first question is, why do you think did the poet write this poem? Yes. Maybe he was just waiting for the joy and the, the boy inspired him. Or he used to be like that boy once. And he reminded him of himself. My next question. What is the lesson learned in this poem? Yes, I think even if a person does not have the best of everything, he can make the best of something. Very good answer. Or she. Indeed. Now, where did the scene of this poem take place? At the railway station. Very good. Who can tell me? What was the title of the poem? At the railway station, a boy. Very good. A person who writes the poem is called a? A poet, miss. Now, how many stanzas does this poem have? Two, miss. My next question is, words, what do we call words in the poem that sound the same. Rhyming words, for example, uses twang sand. Now, how many characters did I name in this poem? Three. There was the policeman, the convict, the boy of the guitar. Can any one of you describe what the boy looks like? He's quite small, but he looks neglected, but he's friendly and proud. The convict in the poem sang a song. What did he sing? Yes, Jamie. This life so free, it's the thing for me. Well done, Jamie. <laughs> Learners, 
You were all fantastic. Viewers, to help ourselves understand and appreciate a poet's work, we can ask different questions. For example, why? Why is he saying this? Who? Who is the main character? What? What is happening in the poem? How? How do different characters respond? Where? Where does the action take place? And we can describe the different characters. Now, we can summarize today's lesson on the emotions expressed by poets and how we can respond to these emotions. We have learned that people respond to poems by showing different emotions. These emotions can be sadness, empathy, loneliness, happiness, pride, confusion, surprise, and awe. We also ask different questions to understand why the poet wrote the poem and to get clarity on the message from the poet. We ask questions like, why, what, who, where, and how. And we described some of the characters we learned about in the poem. As you can see, poems can be enjoyed by everyone, anytime, and any place. So do not be afraid to try it yourself. Who knows? The learners of a future generation may read your poems in a class one day. Well, it was a pleasure having you in our company. Our last lesson will be about simple and complex sentences. See you then. Take care. Now I'll carry you where you need a friend. You'll find my footprints in the sand. Mama, <laughs> <laughs>